All right, we got five minutes on the clock. What's your name and your podcast show? My name is Jake Jordan, and my podcast show is the Simple Profits Podcast. And what we concentrate on is making sure that you're making money. You're making money and not just revenue because revenue is just money. We like care about profits because that's what feeds your family. So the whole premise of the show is that there's a whole lot of things that you can do in your business that have nothing to do with raising up your sales and marketing budgets and doing more advertising. There's spots all over your business that you can find profit today, next week. And so we concentrate on, I call it TED Talk combined with dirty work. So we're going to come up with the really cool ideas from these really smart people who are doing things in their business, but then we're going to like look right over their shoulder and go, how are you doing that? Show me like in the weeds, what does that look like? Let's get dirty. Let's look at this thing. And then at the end of the show, we've got, you know, two, three simple little tasks that you can take with you from the guest to go find that exact profit center in your business if you want to. Okay. So for podcasters, right? I'm doing a bunch of work. I'm doing four interviews today. I'm doing, you know, up to 10 a day. Where might I or other podcasters be missing profit? Because you say you could be looking at a bunch of stuff. Here's where you should be focused on to get profit. Yeah. And so I have to give this shout out to Jay Kunza, who's a fantastic podcast guy who says premise is everything. And I agree with him because I've done quite a few of them. I've done some for audience growth and advertising. I've done some for lead generation. And at the end of the day, if you don't really, really know what the premise of your show is, like that one idea that you want to defend, like go to the top of the hill, put your fist up, scream and like wave your flag. If you don't have something like that, that you can really get behind, it's hard to create really great content on and on and on. And here's where that leads to money is my premise is you shouldn't have to find all these money to go make your business grow. There's places you can look. And I believe that because I've seen that over and over. So now how can I take that out to an audience and do it in a way that they, they're going to come back. They, they are excited to come and see you and know what's going on and, and tell people about you. And I think one of the things that we get tied up in and get too tangled in is we focus too much on how we can grow our audiences versus I'm going to own and, and go to the mats for this premise. I'm going to make sure that people understand why it's such a big deal. And we're going to show them how to solve it. And can, so, when that happens, people show up. So instead of trying to chase the masses, you really focus on how do we cultivate what we currently have? How do you do stuff that, that produces more money? And how do you keep more of the money that you're already producing? Give me an example of how you would do that for a business. Give me like one little thing that most businesses miss. Right. So, and this is, a great segue into my first podcast um, guest, right? Because I'm also just launching this thing. And uh, the first guest I have on the podcast is a commercial real estate uh, CEO. Uh, he does construction mostly, yeah. right? For large, large projects. And he's got tons of money. He, he doesn't need more money. He has lots of cash flow. He wants to keep more of what, what he comes home with. And there's two things we looked at right away. And it's cutting costs, which is not sexy. But oh my gosh, we found him. $200,000 in his budget this year that he was just wasting away. And so, but that might apply to like a podcaster, right? So the second thing we focused on was a market dominating position. And that's just fancy for who's your audience specifically, like who do you really care about? And unfortunately, <laughs> there's no sexy, you know, awesome, amazing ideas out there. There's really just foundational ones. And this is one of those that says his, his favorite people to work with are people like him who love relationships, who are over 50, blah, 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 blah. And what's funny is once we knew who that was, we could make really, really specific offers that people just ate up and conversions went up on the spot. So same thing with your podcast. Market dominating position. I think that's so brilliant because the, the, you know, they say the riches are in the niches, but really yes. what they're, they're saying is when you love the core group of people that you're serving and working with, you could raise your prices, you could build a tight community, you could do all sorts of things. How do you specifically, like who's your ideal client or ideal listener in the podcast world? Yeah, so I love working with Christian CEOs and C-suites. Um, I, I like that mesh of, of morals and, and vision together. And then I want them to be over at least a million dollars in revenue, have a team, been doing this for five years, who really understand that we're here to build something big and profits is what we have to grow. Cool. There's the mission is in the margin. Without margin, no mission. One more time, where could people go to find your podcast show? Yeah, you can find me on Spotify and YouTube launching this past week, the Simple Profits Podcast. Awesome job, man. 
We're out of time. Guys, tune in for the next episode of Podcast Host Army.